And good morning, good afternoon, and maybe good evening for those of you, depending on what part of the world you're in. So I have um, news, good news, and then great news, or it could be news, good news, and more good news, however you'd like to look at it. So today, Andrew Leach was uh, going to be our third day Lowry virtual spectacular artist and the internet at the store is not working properly. So no matter how hard he tried, we couldn't get on and we're waiting for the technicians. Um, and so the good news, the, that's the news. The good news is we have um, someone very spectacular. I call him Sean the Spectacular. And, <laughs> and so Sean is stepping in in a literally a moment's notice to fulfill what uh, what Andrew was going to do today, and the and the even more good news is that once we get the internet going back at the store at Osprey, uh, Andrew is going to work. We'll schedule another event, and Andrew's still going to fulfill his his agreement to our members and promise that he is going to be. We'll just call it um, Lowry Virtual uh, Spectacular Three uh, B. All right, so. With that said, we're going to kick off our Lowry Virtual Spectacular Day 3 with Mr. Sean Maloney, everyone. So give it up. Uh, I have no applaud button, so I need to hear you. Unmute yourself. Woo! <laughs> Everybody Good applauding Sean. on the screen. So Mr. Sean Maloney, take it away. All right, here we go. Just going to click this button, and we're set to go. Thank you, thank you. I see the applause. As long as I hear a little, that's fine. So that was, <laughs> thank you. Sounds like uh, the Rolling Stones song you're doing there. Um, I forgot the name of that one. Uh, anyway, that was Hello Dolly by Louis Armstrong with the new Dixieland rhythm. I set that up using our song setup feature, one of my favorite features of all time. I'll talk a little bit more about it later. Uh, but today I chose uh, last minute here to play for you on the Lowry Fanfare, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, I figured in a moment's notice this is the easiest one to just sit at and play. You know, so I'm just going to play some of my favorite tunes, and uh, as we have throughout these this concert series, I'll actually show you what I'm doing as well. So if you have this or something like it, or if you're just curious, what in the heck is he doing? Now you know. So I'll kind of talk to you throughout the way. Hopefully not too much, though. You know. So uh, 
one of my favorite instruments. It's just really easy to operate. Everything's right in front of you. It's not wrapping around the, the whole solar system here. Uh, it's just right in front of me. So got this nice little cover here for the dust, and it's classy. And this is actually the widest music rack out of any of the instruments we carry. Uh, so I can play really long songs if I want, or I can play a medley, just put a bunch of songs next to each other here. Um, and yeah, so any, everything I'm going to do today is going to be super simple to set up. I'm going to touch maybe a button or two each song, and that's about it. So for my next song, I'm actually going to use uh, one of the newest buttons they added. Uh, if, you've, if you're familiar with an Easy 10, I think Jerome actually played on that yesterday for our concert series. Um, the Easy 10 has a nice little section for your styles, your rhythm styles. And what I, they only add one button to this whole area. So you think, well, there can't be a whole lot of new stuff, right? Well, wrong. There's tons of new stuff because they add a button. Uh, you can't see it from there, but it's called Group 2. So basically what I'm doing is I've got my standards uh, rhythm on. Uh, we'll start there. And I've got a full band selected. So I'm going to play with a full band. But I don't want to play with the same old thing I always play with. I'm going to touch group two. And it's going to give me a whole other option. And this rhythm is called smooth foxtrot. Some of you may have this. So here we go. This is made for the song Begin the Beguine. So I'll play a little bit of that one. Uh, and then I'll talk a little bit more after that. So here's Begin the Begging. Here's Benny Goodman. lower keyboard. So that was Benny Goodman's arrangement of Begin the Beguine, one of my favorite tunes to play on here. Uh, what I love about this instrument is this is where they start getting really fun with uh, what are called signature styles. I'll talk more about that. But if you notice, when I played the melody, uh, I had all the backing members kind of playing in between all my parts. So when I play that first line... They play in between perfectly, so I don't have to walk on top of each other with the background. They play with you, not against you. So it's a great song, really fun to play. <coughs> um, so one thing that I'm using as well, and I'll shut up after this and play some more music, but uh, one feature I really, really love that I can't say enough how much I use this, it's called balance. When I'm playing a song, and sometimes you might do this at home, you notice, oh, this right hand is so loud compared to the background or the other way around you know maybe the background's just so loud and you can't hear your right hand you have a balance feature so whichever you want to hear there are two buttons accompaniment or melody you touched which one you want to hear more of that's about it so if you're drowning out that that clarinet and you can't hear them turn up the melody side so great great feature so if you have that use it if you don't get it it's a good feature so I'm gonna stick with that uh, standards button here and I'm gonna play with some more band members here instead of the full band I'm gonna play with just a standards pianist and this brings up a rhythm called jazz club so I'm gonna play like I'm in a, a smoky jazz club <laughs> one of my favorite uh, styles of music is jazz and now I can be a jazz piano player uh, just on my own. And I'm going to use something really special that they add to this instrument. Some of you have things like this going across. You see those buttons? They're called setups. 
So I'm going to start with just my piano player, and then I'm going to kind of grow and change my sounds as I move along here. So let's start out. change here. I just love it. If I close my eyes, I'm in a literal jazz club. It actually feels like that to me, sitting in front of it. Uh, this instrument, you guys can't hear it from there, but there's actually a sound bar on this one, kind of going across the front, right underneath this music rack here. Uh, and it just sounds fantastic, because it feels not just like it's coming out at my knees, you know, some a lot of the instrument, the, the uh, main speakers are down there, this one has both. I have speakers up here and down here, so the sound is all around me. I feel like I'm in a club here. So instead of pianist, now I'm going to say I don't need a piano player. I want a guitarist to play with. And uh, for this one, it brings up a rhythm called Gypsy Rag, another one of my favorites. Uh, it's based on Django Reinhardt and Stefan Grappelli, if you know who those people are. Uh, but I'm not going to play one of their songs. I want to play something else that just popped into my head, and I feel like playing it, because why not? I just printed off the music for a Beatles song called Michelle, and it just sounds great with this. So I'm going to start out with just a guitar player, and as I did before, I'm going to use these setups in the middle, and I'm going to grow the song. I'm going to add more members as I go along. So let's get started. Here's Michelle. My music's getting all foldy here and falling down, but hopefully I'll read it just fine. <laughs>
Thank you. And for those of you who don't know, you can actually, when you do the intro and endings, if you start or stop, or end, I should say, on a minor chord, it's going to be a totally different introduction uh, from the major chord. So what's kind of fun is I can take that same introduction, if I want to play it with a major key, it's going to sound like this. <laughs> And that was kind of exciting for me because that song, I actually started with a minor. Oops, sorry. I started with a minor chord, and it just sounded so different, and I got excited right when I started playing. So I, I love that feature. It's totally different, so it kind of changes the whole mood. Uh, so that's how the full band pianist and guitarist works, for those of you who have something similar to this, or... Even on a Sterling, they have really, really good uh, features like that, too. So if you're using something like that, uh, I had the Group 2 button on and all new styles. So I'm going to keep that button on no matter what I play, and it's going to sound good. So those mostly were what we call just kind of general styles, you know, where it's not necessarily based on an original arrangement. That would be a signature style. So we, we mention that a lot in our classes and things. We talk about, oh, use the signature style for that song. We have some people that say, what in the world is that? Well, that is a style of music that's built in uh, that's actually based on an original arrangement, based on something uh, specific. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch my country button here <coughs> and the pianist. And my country pianist is uh, not just any country piano player. It actually gives me a signature style uh, for Floyd Kramer. So it's not just any country. It's Floyd Piano. That's what the rhythm's called, and that's what I'm going to get. So I'm going to start that off here, and you're going to hear Mr. Floyd Kramer. <laughs> I'm just going to play a snippet of this one because I just want to show you how cool this piano sound is mostly. <laughs> I love this piano sound. They actually put Floyd Kramer's sound on this keyboard here. So here we go. I don't get uh, uh, applause, just oohs and ahs from Robert, which is all I ever want, so that's good. Uh, so if you noticed in there, I did something kind of cool. Uh, it started out just with a simple rhythm. Put the drums back in. Just like that. But you heard at some point, it did a fill-in, and you heard Floyd Kramer actually come in and play with me. Here we go, like this. Well, how in the world am I getting him to do that? Does anybody know? Well, I'm using the fill-in. Uh, I'm actually, this instrument's really cool. There's a, a special option. Um, some of you may know this. If you have something like this or above, 
you can probably do this. So this is a good idea for anybody. I'm, I'm using the fill-in to do what's called an sort of an altar style that they snuck in here. So if I hold the fill-in, I actually had Floyd Kramer come and do a duet with me, which is really exciting. And how did I do that? I actually put the fill-in on the bass pedals. So what's kind of neat is if I touch a button called Pedal Magic on this little display over here, see the lights kind of changing from there? If I touch Pedal Magic and light up a button called Fill, it takes those pedals on the bottom that I'm not using, <laughs> Uh, and it puts the fill-in on there, so I don't have to stick my, my foot in the hole and kick left or right or anything like that. I just touch any pedal. <coughs> it can be any of them. Here's my, my pedal section. It's kind of dark, but if I touch the pedals without that uh, pedal magic button on, you get bass. If I put on the pedal magic for fill, uh-oh, there's no more sound. Because what's going to happen is when I am playing my rhythm and I want to do a fill-in, I touch any pedal just like that. It could be down here, up here, doesn't matter. Uh, but it's just a really, really easy way to where if I don't, you know, have a good time with my right foot in the hole, I don't have to use it now. I can put it on the pedals. So that's what I did. I I just touched my foot down and I played a duet with Floyd Kramer. So kind of fun. Just a little hint for you guys. And uh, what I used in the beginning too, I talked about song setups. If you like signature styles, if you like it when it's based on an original arrangement, which I love because I just like to get to play with my favorite artists, my heroes. I love Louis Armstrong. Wouldn't it be nice to sit in on his band? That's awesome. That's what I did to start out with. I used song setup. And it gave me uh, Louis Armstrong's band when I did uh, Hello, Dolly. And I can do the same thing for, I think, hundreds of songs in here. I think a couple hundred, actually, uh, original songs. And what happens is you actually get some hidden uh, rhythm styles in here. I'm not going to go over all of them because there's actually quite a few. But if I go to the song setup, let's do some rock and roll. I haven't really done that yet. I'm going to pick a song setup for the song Wipeout. So we're, we'll go surfing on this next one. And when I touch the song setup and I hit select, it actually gives me no rhythm over here. There's nothing lit up because it actually gave me a signature style, a surf style specific to Wipeout, uh, which is exciting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that feature again on the fill and just touch any pedal here. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually bring in the drummer for all the drum solos. So listen for the drum solos and some waves crashing. And yeah, let's let's get wiped out. Let's party. Here we go. We're going to pretend we're on the beach cuz that's that'd be a nice place to be right now. Here we go. drum solo. Gotta do air drops, you know.
I hope you all drink. feel like we just went surfing, because I do. My face is kind of wet for some reason, too. Super good, guy. <laughs> you, you yowza. Like yowza. I got a yowza. That's great. Uh, all right. So let's see. What have I done so far? I did a lot of stuff. But like I said, easy peasy. This is the easiest instrument to use. Uh, one of them anyway. And then anything, obviously, with a touch screen, even easier if you got that. Uh, but it's just so simple. I've been using pretty much everything on the panel. Um, if anybody's familiar with the Easy series, those are so great because it's hard to mess them up. You sit down and you just play. Um, what's great about an instrument like this is you start getting customization features and things that you can do for you, things that uh, you can be creative, you can make it sound just the way you want it. Uh, so that's a new thing, and I can pretty much do any of it with just a touch of a button. You know, I can transpose it just in a second. I just touch transpose. I don't have to go to a menu or search for it or anything like that. I get the setup, so it gives me all these great sounds just right away. I don't have to set a bunch of stuff up beforehand. Um, but what's cool is you kind of get the freedom to do that, too. I can set up the songs. I can save my work. I can record. Some people say, I wouldn't record. I don't, nobody wants to hear me. <laughs> but that's okay, because my favorite w reason to use the record uh, option is for learning. When you record yourself, you play your song, you record it, you listen back to it, and you say, wow, did I goof up there. Can't believe I didn't notice that. And then you work on it, you know. <coughs> or if you have friends or family, you can record it. You know, maybe you're not, you know, as confident playing in front of them. I'm bad with that. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. If I play alone in a room, I sound great. If I play in front of people, not so great. Uh, so it's kind of nice to record, you know, and just say, here, listen to what I did earlier. You know, <laughs> So that's kind of a fun feature. So I just have maybe one or two more. I'm going to use one of my favorite styles of music again, Latin. I'm going to play some Latin music because they finally add uh, to this instrument a uh, rhythm called bossa nova. I love the bossa nova. So I'm going to play bossa nova, and I'm going to use these setups and transpose, and I'm just going to keep changing some things throughout the song, and maybe I'll even make it a medley. I'll just play whatever comes to mind, because it's a great rhythm to just kind of wing it and have some fun. So here's my bossa nova. Let's start with more. Here's some more. Let's put on an introduction, so I sound professional, of course. Much better. I love that.
la la. Hey. Ooh la la. That's what I. That's my joke. Anytime somebody says "play more, play more," I play the song more, and then I stop. You know. <laughs> so that's my usually my encore because instead of saying encore, with, yeah, those people say more. Anyway, so uh, what I like to do, especially for things like that, if I have a medley. It's so fun to transpose between songs because then it kind of makes people say, oh, something different's going to happen. Uh, so you can transpose it and then just pick a number, one through eight on this machine here, and you get great sounds. Um, What's well, kind of fun, I'll just throw this in. I won't show too much, but I have categories in this instrument as well, which is really, really cool. If you're playing something like, uh, you know, those songs kind of made me think of uh, Henry Mancini. Uh, those aren't by him, but Henry Mancini had a really cool style of combining Latin orchestras. He would play with like a Latin band, like a <laughs> bossa nova. And then what he would do is he wouldn't use uh, Latin style instruments. He would use swing or jazz instruments. So he'd use clarinets and saxophones um, and big brass sections, things like that. And he would kind of combine those. And that's what's great about these categories is if I wanted to play a Henry Mancini song or something like that, I can play a Latin orchestra on my left hand. And then if I touch jazz or swing instruments, it'll fill these numbers with totally different sounds. So I get jazz and swing instruments. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. It just popped into my head. Um, yeah, or country sounds too. Not that you want want to combine Latin with country. might be a little weird, but... Um, anyway, I have maybe just one more song on my list here, so I'm going to play that in a second. But beforehand, I wanted to make sure that everybody knows, uh, before I wrap up, that this is not finished. We have more to do here. We've got, we started this week or on Wednesday with a concert with Robert and myself. We had Jerome Johnson playing on his EZ-10. We had Andrew Leach, a.k.a. me, uh, I play today on the fanfare for you. Hopefully it was as good as he could have done there. But uh, then tomorrow we have one of my all-time favorite performers. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping she's on here so she can hear me say that. But her name's Don Casanova. And she's got a heck of a concert uh, lined up for tomorrow, Saturday at 10 a.m. Arizona. Or if you're on the east side, it is 1 p.m. So don't miss that. I know I won't. Uh, so anyway, that's what's coming up. We also have, I think, just uh, maybe Robert can correct me, a day, a day left, two days, uh, maybe two days on our emergency through sale. Through Sunday. Through Sunday. Okay, perfect. Through Sunday. We have an emergency sale. So if there's anything you're eyeing, even this, anything, uh, let us know. We've got some really, really cool things we can do on it just at the moment. So. Without further ado, let's finish this off here. I am going to use something, a new feature, called my bank setups on this one. So I'm going to pull up my A bank, where I can actually customize and make my own presets or setups. So it's like making your own song setups. So what I did is I used our disco rhythm, and I'm going to play a song called December 1963. Oh, what a night. So here's my disco rhythm, and then I am going to have all my setups pre-made here. So here we go. Let's see how it works. Start with my drummer. Here's my chords.
<laughs> you can all unmute now. We're that was it. That was uh, my finale. So I hope you enjoyed that. Ooh. Yeah, it's fun to save your work because I didn't have to think. I just hit the next button and go. <laughs> That's right. So, all right. Well, thank you everybody for coming. And uh, unless we got anything else to say, thanks and have a wonderful day. And Big we'll round of applause to Mr. Sean Maloney, everybody. Let's give it up. Hey, Sean, where's the ooh, -ooh, ooh button? The ooh, -ooh, ooh button. If only there was. I think Robert's the ooh, -ooh button. Yeah, yeah, he's the ooh, -ooh button. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.